Hey everybody, welcome back to Dad Does Videos. Today I'm coming at you from my back patio where we are going to replace this chain on this Portland nine and a half inch pole saw. If you've followed my videos, you know that I put one together, kind of demoed this about a year ago. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, go ahead and do that. I actually really like this. Um, it's a pretty inexpensive pole saw for what's provided. It's uh, about 70 or 80 bucks at Harbor Freight and uh, it's electric and I've, I've had no issues with it so far. I, I really enjoy it, but I've put it to pretty good use. So after a while, it's time to replace the, uh, the chain. Now, can you get this sharpened? Sure, um, places offer that service, but if I'm gonna pay the same amount to get it sharpened or even more than what I'm going to pay to actually just get a new chain, I might as well just get the new chain. You'll see this is eight inch here. This is actually the one that you're supposed to use to replace the, the chain that's on here, even though Portland uh, markets this as a, a nine and a half inch chain. And uh, you could also tell that this is the right fit because it has 33 blades on it. And if you go around and count the, the different blades on here, you'll come up with 33. So follow along. Hopefully uh, this will be useful for you and I'll go through it step by step, just like I usually do. First step, is to get a an allen wrench that's uh six millimeters and I, I think i've talked about this before on some of the uh the videos that i've done but if you don't have yourself an allen wrench set go get one i have this one from the home depot that i picked up you can see it's tecton it's 30 different allen wrenches for all kinds of different sizes and inevitably you're going to run into a need for all these at different sizes so um this is my psa just go get yourself an allen wrench set so we're gonna pull the, like I said, the six milli milli millimeter one out. And what you're gonna do is just pop it in this hole right here and twist. Loosen this up. So this piece comes out along with that. And inevitably you're gonna have some gunk on the inside from all the stuff that you've done. Um, so I'm gonna take some time and just wipe this down and get that out of the way before I continue to the next step. Okay, so after you get that cleaned off a little bit, this, as you saw uh, in the last segment, this chain just starts to fall off. So just remove this all the way around like that. And then you can clean this off as well. So just to get ready and prep for when you get the chain back on and you get the bar in here. So you can adjust your placement. So what we're gonna have to do is you can see the bottom of this right here. This fits in this spot right here, but this part needs to fit in as well in these two holes. So this part fits in right there and then goes like that. So now if, one of the pegs sticking up here, this peg is not in the right spot. You can use a flathead screwdriver right here to move this. So depending upon where the peg is sticking up on your saw, you can move this around. Mine was actually surprisingly in a good spot. So I'm just gonna put it right back there and I'll be ready to go while I get my chain ready. Okay, so time to put the chain on. And as you can see here, what you want, obviously you just kind of slide this, slide this in. You want to make sure all the, uh, trying to get a good view here. All these spots are inserted into the blade. Like so, it goes all the way around. And this is going to take a few minutes to just kind of figure this out as, as you go, as you make sure everything is inserted. Then again, we're inserting this in. This is why we had to do that step before to make sure the peg goes in and the top goes in. And I might, you know, that actually got kind of lucky right there and mine fit in pretty well on the first try. And if you're satisfied with it, and you could always tighten, we'll, we'll tighten this up later. Um, you can uh, get your top back on, get that ready to get on. If I put it on the right way, that would help too. 
that in like so. Put this on, get your screw in, grab my Allen wrench here, tighten this up, make sure this is secured. So, and you want this, you want this a little loose, you want it to have a little bit of give, but we want to tighten this up a little bit. There's a little too much, too much give here. So again, same thing underneath here now because we can't see it, uh, but you can use your flathead screwdriver to, um, to tighten this up. Okay, so let's test this out. We've got it all set up, ready to go. I'm gonna cut a branch off of this tree right behind me just to make sure everything's working properly before I tackle some of these thicker branches. I think we're okay, we're ready to roll. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like.